Hello and welcome to Vintage Jewelry Haul number 10. I cannot believe I've already done 10 of these. So this first grouping of clip-on earrings I got while antique shopping with my mother-in-law. She's in town for a while and we went to the antique store. So these are probably my least favorite earrings of the bunch. The whole bag, all of these earrings cost $5. So I'm just going to like group up the ones that I don't like and resell them and get my money back. But I really love the enameling on this. This pink enameling is really pretty. But these are so heavy. Nobody's going to be able to wear these. And the um, backing doesn't even line up. So it's going to be really painful on the ear. So heavy and painful earrings. No thank you. These ones, I don't know how I feel about these. I like them because they're moon glow, but they are sugared and most of the sugar is off. It's not real sugar, that's just a term used. Oh my gosh, I was just gardening and my nails are really, really dirty. Many apologies for that. But the little tiny beading that you see here, that's called sugared or sugaring. And most of that's fallen off. It's just a weird mixture of moon glow with um, pieces of shell and sugared and it's just weird also it's like a brown color which is kind of ugly uh these look red on my camera but they are actually pink I'm not sure why my camera is freaking out on colors today but they are pink and really cute and i'm i think i'm going to convert these into pierced because my daughter likes them and she would wear them so these ones i will probably keep and put posts in it so that she can wear them really bugs me that these look so red on camera because they're like magenta. These teeny tiny triangle earrings. They are also clip-on. This whole bag is clip-on. These are so tiny and they are cute, but I don't, I don't like them. <laughs> I'm going to pass those along to somebody else who would rather have them. These ones are marked Japan on the bottom. So there's probably a necklace floating around out there that matches these. But they kind of remind me of fortune cookies and they also kind of remind me of like deer feet, like the, the hooves. <laughs> and I like them, but they're, um, they're very lightweight. They're not like thermoset like I was hoping, they're just a lightweight plastic. These fancy dangly things here, red, white, and blue colored, they're hard to show you all of it. <laughs> These are also clip-ons. I don't hate them, they're just not my style. I will be passing these along as well. These are the earrings that caught my eye at first. They're just cute, I don't know. They're, they're a little bit darker than you, what you're seeing. They're pink and they're kind of overexposed with my camera light on, but they're screw backs, and I thought these were really cute. And this is what caught my eye initially of this for this bag. There were several different bags, but this is the one I decided to buy. I also really like these ones because they're purple, and I love purple. They look kind of newer, like practically unworn. I also saw a necklace. It was a paparazzi necklace at a yard sale that would have matched these perfectly, but I don't buy paparazzi jewelry. I do not like it. But I thought it was funny that I found a necklace that matches these. But I really like these ones. I'm keeping these ones. And then I have these blue moon glows. And I've never seen moon glow earrings like these before. They're kind of dirty. But they're really cute and different. See? Very dirty. Tarnished. Got some verdigris going on. I'll have to clean them up. Well, these are another good find. But the reason I bought the bag... The reason I bought the bag is for these. I've been looking for these. I love these because I am a huge fan of the movie Xenon, Girl from the 21st Century. It was a Disney Channel original movie. These just remind me of the disc earrings that she made with nail polish um, in the movie. I'll have to see if I can find a clip of that, but that's what they remind me of. It's marked Diffraction. That's, um... Just what these are called I suppose but I've been looking for these and I was very happy to find them and these are worth the whole five dollars just these alone so got all of these but most of them I'm not keeping just so I could have these <laughs> 
I also picked up this guy, which I regretted not buying the first time that I was there. Uh, $5 is a little bit much for him. It is Sarah Coventry. He is a pretty common piece, and this one has a lot of wear on it. The gold tone is kind of coming off of him. Well, the reason I wanted him is because um, the eyes are uranium glass, so they glow. And my camera's not really doing a good job of picking that up. But it looks really cool. I'll uh, show you a picture of it. I've been wanting to buy one of these Mother of Pearl Mother Pins. I think they're really cute and classic and timeless and very vintage. Um, this one I overpaid for. It. I paid $10 for it. I know that these are really common and not worth really anything. But... I just wanted to have one in my collection and the other ones I've seen are smaller and they had some other ones in the store as well and they were just smashed and they I, they just didn't fit my style. This is the biggest one I've seen and $10 isn't terrible for it. The uh, pin part's a little bit bent but the wire that is in the front comes around through the back and it creates the pin which I think is kind of cool. I really like Mother of Pearl vintage jewelry, and this is kind of the mother of Mother of Pearl jewelry. <laughs> I saved the best for last. I have been wanting to get a set of this particular style of jewelry for a long time, and I got it. Oh, it looks so good on camera too. So in this particular case, this is a store that has different vendors, different booths in it, and this case was full of everything in the in the case was ten dollars each or ten dollars for a set and i'm a shy person and i don't even like asking them to open the case to see you know pieces of jewelry in it so i i did manage to get somebody over there to open the case for me so i could see what was inside this mother of this mother pen was also in that case and uh, these aren't technically a set, but I did manage to haggle because um, I didn't want to pay $10 each for these. So I ended up getting $10 for both. So that is a really good deal. And I'm proud of myself for like haggling and getting a good deal on it. I stupidly thought that the clasp on it was broken. It is not broken. I just didn't realize that this is one of those like hidden clasps. I was thinking it was supposed to be like a hook and a chain like most vintage jewelries, but this is just a hidden class that just sneaks inside of here in a clip. So that's really neat. So, and then I just really love this style of bracelet and it fits perfectly on my wrist. I have really small wrists, so finding a bracelet that fits and is comfortable is rare. So I love that. And these earrings from the bag match it not an exact match the blues are a little bit different but it's close enough that I could wear all this together and this is definitely something that I would wear because I absolutely love the set and that was everything from that store and then my hometown had a kind of like a swap meat flea market type thing I don't like calling it a flea market because it's just an over glorified yard sale to be honest but there was a vendor there who had rings, and all of her rings were modern, except for this one. This is an Avon ring, and it's a locket. This is from 1975. It's like my favorite time from Avon is the 70s. So it is a locket, and this is in like really fantastic condition. So extremely happy to have it. It fits on me really well as too, so... Uh, the rings were half off, so I got this only for $5. And that's about, you know, top of the line, as much money as I would pay for Avon. But since it's in such nice condition, I could not pass that up. I'm going to bring these earrings back into frame, and you'll see why in a second. There is a antique store at the swap meet. And in the case, they had some matching pieces. This is like a pinkish color. It doesn't exactly match the silver here, but I had to have this. And this was marked for $5, but everything in this case was half off. So I only paid $2.50 for it. And it's marked Jewelarama. 
and that's the same makers as the diffraction it's the same company and these are from like the 60s i believe so i got that for five dollars half off 250 then i also got this one which i love that one it's like a little banjo he was eight dollars but half off so i paid four dollars for him and then we have this guy who is so pretty <laughs> and this guy was in the case and the tag said set 18 dollars so I'm guessing that this was supposed to be sold as a set of three, but I, they weren't together and I didn't know that. So I bought these two. I went back the next day to buy this one and they were closed. So I went back the next day to buy this one and I tried to talk the guy into lowering the price because I wasn't buying a set, I was just buying this. And this is not worth $18 or $9 since it was half off. Even at $9, it still isn't worth that. So I'm like, well, it's not a set. It's just a single piece, so the price should be lowered. And he didn't agree with me on that. I don't think he was understanding the situation. So I left it there, and I was sad because I really wanted it to complete the set here. I just wanted to have all of them all together. So I left, and I didn't buy it, and I was really sad. And then my sister went to the swap meet <laughs> and she bought it for me. She spent $9. I tried to pay her back for it, at least some of it, but she wouldn't accept my money. So I'll just consider this like a birthday present, even though my birthday was a long time ago. I'll just consider it a birthday present. So now I have all of these really cool pieces that it's not really common. I want to get the cat. There's one that has two of the discs. They're like, it's like stacked like this and it looks like a cat. I really want to get that one. And there's a few other variations with different colors and different styles as well. So now I'm going to be on the lookout for these because they're really cute. I was gifted a couple of bracelets recently. This one, I wore it while driving once on a sunny day. And let me tell you, I probably blinded everybody. <laughs> As you can see, it acts like a disco ball with these mirrors on it. I am not sure if this is vintage. I really don't have a way to date it. Looks like it's made out of resin, possibly. It's very glittery and very sparkly. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to wear this while driving anymore because I don't want to cause any accidents. It also came with a free little gift, which is a... If I can get it out of the bag... A little hair clip and it matches the bracelet pretty well it is not vintage it is a modern piece but it will be vintage in like 20 to 30 years so I'm gonna hang on to it and keep it in with my vintage jewelry and I also got this bracelet which was also gifted to me and again I can't date this I have no idea if this is considered vintage or not it does give me 90s vibes which is considered vintage I don't really consider the 90s vintage it is, but it isn't, you know, I was alive in the 90s, so it doesn't feel vintage to me. But I really like this one. I will definitely wear this one um, if I ever have to dress up formally for anything, like a wedding or anything like that. So they do fit up kind of high on my arm since my wrists are so small. But that's just kind of how I like to wear my bangles. That way they're not dangling on my wrist. So, uh... Yeah, I can't forget about these two bracelets, especially the disco ball here. I love the effect it has with all the shiny lights. Oh my gosh, my cat would love this. I should bring this out for her to play with. She loves chasing lights. That's a good idea. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again later. Bye.